We're back. We are back. I'm back. Lee's there. We're back. It's day three. You reckon half a day, eh? Ish. <coughs> Uh, at the most, it depends how slow you are. All right, pretty slow, so at least half a day. <clears throat> yeah, so we soak the handle in oil, oil. grapeseed oil? Special oil. Did you say grapeseed? Just special, a special oil. oil. It's a mixture, but it's got mainly boiled linseed oil. Linseed, that's the oil. Mainly. Just to really get that handle just Pumping. looking sexy. Uh, and then we're going to sharpen it, we're going to make a sheath, and then that's us. Let's do it. The real character. Whoa. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mate. That orange looks real nice, eh? Glad glad we did that. That is a sexy knife, mm. bro. Special K, mate. Special K. Special K. That's what we got. How cool is that? Yeah, that handle's just changed, eh? Just come to life. Yeah. The grain starts to pop out. Yeah. That is amazing. Looks silky. Feels silky. If you could feel this, it's it's maybe the best. That, might be the, the best wood I've ever had in my hands. We've done more. <laughs> <laughs> more away. Right, nine feet on one side. Now we're going to make the sheath. We're going to go for this kind of style. Um, kind of full. Text the knife really well and hangs on to it so less chance of it popping out especially here from uh, bush bashing and that kind of thing perfect like that just like that one I want that one so here we have a half a gal so all we want to look at first we want to check that the piece we're going to use has got a nice clean grain which it has there's no wrinkly dinklies first thing we've got to do we're going to work out how much leather we need this would be for one of the bushcraft style knives that I make, so yours would need to be slightly bigger, but it would give us an idea of what we're looking at. So the knife will sit in sheath like this. That's actually not that bad size wise. Oh, oh, sure. <laughs> so now we're gonna cut this piece out. Right, so where we're at, we've got this much done on the, the sheath. We've got the loopy 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 bit. Now what's gonna happen is, what's this bit called again? Welt. Welt. This is the welt. I'm gonna put the welt in place around here, so knife people will end up sitting around here. And then that will come on over and look something like that. Process to speed, eh? It's like making a coffee. Yeah. Instant coffee ain't coffee. It's quick, but it ain't that great. I don't know, it seems like, well, it's actually taken all morning to do this, but I just did some sanding and some shaping, and now we are marking a stitch line, well, for the stitches, funnily enough. That's pretty much what you can end up looking like, eh? Hey. Yeah. Because there's stitches in down through here, and um, then there's some wet molding and some polishing. Polishing or sharpening? Sharpening, finishing. That's about it. So, pretty, pretty close. I can fix it. I can fix it. Yes, I can. Scoop fucking dizzy. Oh, and no pressure, but you know, <coughs> every stage is a fuck up stage at this stage.
There it is. It's a sheath for my knife. Pretty good. So how long do you reckon that stitching took? Half an hour? 24 minutes. 24 minutes with a bit of messing. It's actually quite cool. Like once you get going and then you get that like the length of thread a bit shorter, it's kind of cool. It's the same kind of vibe you get when you get in a rhythm of time flies. Like you just kind of because that's fun. It was, I hate time flies, <laughs> no, I enjoyed that. <laughs> Way more than time flies. That's quite satisfying to do. old sayings that go along with the knives, you know, traditions, superstitions if you like. One is that a knifeless man is a lifeless man. And the other one says that whenever somebody gives you a knife, you should always give them a coin, lest the blade sever the friendship. Protected for the wet molding, so that's why that's in there. <clears throat> Some lukewarm water. Okay. Just moisten the sheet. Just that. All it takes, a bit of water. Just a drop. Not dunk it in the river like your drone, moist. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. So that's wet moulded now. So please, carefully insert, insert the sheath. Just give it a squeeze. Boom. That's it. She's in. Just put a bit of baking paper over it just to keep it clean. Pop that on there. Ten minutes. So we're just taking it out the toaster. And this is what so you can already see, like along here, started to take some shape. And my instructions are now to leave that in there till I get home, and then take it out and then leave it to dry overnight. And this will actually shrink a little bit, and it will make it into a click fit. Click fit. Click fit. That's a crazy cool way. Tomorrow, I will show you absoluto finisho. See it all in its glory. But we are pretty happy with it. See you fellas tomorrow. Yes, my friends is new knifey, knifey 2.0. I'm gonna call it a special K, special knifey. Pretty cool, pretty stoked with that. So yeah, love that handle. Little orange stripes either side. That pattern on that wood's amazing. And then a good chunky blade. It is sh -sh 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 sharp. And like Lee said, it's a click fit doesn't come out and then as for the coin so basically what I've got is I've got this coin here which is a leftover Boliviano from my time in Bolivia so that's the coin I'm gonna give Lee and um, thought that'd be kind of a cool a cool swap if you want to look at the kind of stuff that Lee's up to and the kind of knives he has and sells and that kind of thing all his details are in the description below go over there check him out give him a follow show him some love see some cool knives so I can understand now why a good quality knife it's so expensive. There's just so much time and effort that goes into it. It's crazy. Um, it was definitely eye-opening, but I really enjoyed it, and I'm glad that I did it too. Anyway, next video, we're back to fishing. Been doing a fair bit of two-handed stuff, so uh, I'll show you what I've been getting up to. Great to see you. Thanks heaps for coming along. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section below, and have a great week. Peace.